What's up everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is Coach Ken, otherwise known as Fierce Fit. And guys, I'm super excited for today's video because if you're an online fitness coach, I'm assuming that you probably have struggled with content at some point in your fitness coaching business, or maybe it's one of your still, you know, really big bottlenecks. I think I've really learned how to overcome a lot of the overwhelm that comes with batching and actually creating content. So in today's video, what I'm going to be doing is showing you guys how I actually work with my content creator as well as just work from home with myself sometimes, um, just creating the content that I need to not just only get consistent leads in the door, but also to continue to get better engagement and continue to grow my Instagram following. So. Stick with me for this whole video, guys. I'm gonna be going over everything from how I prepare to batch my content, what I actually do, and then how I decide what content I actually wanna batch. So let's get into the video. So basically what I did to get all of my content done beforehand was, if you look at this document here, me and Nick actually sat down last week, which we're gonna be doing once a month to just break down everything that I need in order to show up to the day that we're actually batching content and then just film. So what I have here is I have some reels that we're gonna be filming for my fitness business. So basically we're just breaking down the do's and don'ts of certain exercises. My ideal client personally is gonna be doing a lot of weight training, recomp, reverse dieting. So what I'll do is I'll sit down and I'll actually study um, different real sounds, different TikTok sounds, which I'll actually be covering for you guys in a separate video. So if you don't wanna miss that one, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below. Um, but basically what we're gonna be doing today is just getting some content for gym content as well as for Elevate Coaching Academy, our coaching business for fitness coaches. Um, so here on the document, what I have are just a breakdown of each of the videos we're gonna be doing. And something that's really easy and really cool is if you see, we actually have different reels we're gonna be making and just repurposing out of the YouTube videos that we're creating. So we're gonna be having about two to three reels from every YouTube video that we make. So not only am I able to repurpose the YouTube videos for podcast, but I'm also able to repurpose them for Instagram so that we have reels as well and have the YouTube videos. So this is a really easy way to one, cross pollinate all your platforms, but two, it's a really easy way to batch content because now I'm just repurposing a bunch of different content by taking mini clips of the YouTube videos that we're doing. So if you guys have a lot of overwhelm with content, the best thing you can do is just plan it in advance, get everything that you need written down, plan maybe two, three days out of the month, maybe even two hours weekly where you can just get together with a friend, you know, even honestly getting a tripod and just using your phone if you don't have a nice camera, totally fine. I've done that up until I started working with my content creator. So you guys can just batch it up ahead of time. I'm gonna show you guys, we're gonna head down to the gym. Um, I'm gonna have some outfit swaps. I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit about how I do that as well to just take the overwhelm out of content. So stick with me. Alrighty, so before Nick got here, something that I did to just save myself as much time as possible, be as efficient as we possibly can during the four hours we're gonna be batching content is lay out my clothing. So I have outfits over here for when we film reels at the gym and then also for just the YouTube videos that we do because realistically, I like it to make it look like I'm filming on different days, which is really important when you're obviously batching content. And it's easy to do that by just filming all at once, but just changing outfits during the time that you're filming. So this is what I got laid out. We're gonna get to it. Okay, so we just got down to my apartment gym. I'm just gonna film maybe like three or four reels here so I just have my content for the next week and a half or so. So super simple, super easy. I basically just tell Nick the angle that I like. I brought three different outfit changes. So I'll basically just change, film about two reels per outfit. I don't like posting too many of the same outfits on my page all within you know the same week or two. So basically we're just gonna be down here for about 30 minutes, get a few different reels batched. That's gonna be it for the day. So, oh my gosh, we just got done wrapping up with content downstairs. So basically all I did is like in between shots, I'll just tell Nick, hey, this, this angle looks better. You know, this angle looks better here. I'll put just like a little mini snippet right here for you guys of like some of the angles and shots that we got. Basically just went through three different outfit changes, already wearing a different outfit from when we started last, but you know, basically just switch outfits, get two, three reels batched, um, form fixes, things that my audience likes to see. That's pretty much it. We got four YouTube videos done today, a bunch of reels that we'll cut out 
you know, from those videos as well. So super simple and super easy. Just take the overwhelm out of content by simply just compartmentalizing things. Batch your stuff. I didn't start doing that for the first three years and now it's made my life so much easier. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below. Let me know any questions you might have, any other video ideas you guys might want to see. And uh, as always guys, like, subscribe. I will catch you in the next one.